Farr. Lays it up for Freeman, oh. and it's incomplete. It, or did he, can he make the catch at the 15? Yes. What are they going to rule it? He caught it? Touchdown! <laughs> he did what? Yes, it hit the back of Antonio Freeman. Watch oh. him, right on his left, oh, his left arm, bring the ball up in the air, and he oh, oh, the takes oh, oh, oh. off the grass. What a catch. Unbelievable awareness of where the ball is we on are his body, the play on and he's got himself a touchdown. Oh, Once he, again, we are reviewing the play on the field. Ball went through Dishman's hands. He never hit it. the ground. Wow. They're trying to bring the teams back onto the field if they overturn it, but I haven't seen anything to overturn it yet. No, it's just a great fluky play for the pack. Pantak Look hasn't even that. gotten over to the uh, And then there's no the contact. Dishman didn't even tidy up afterwards. He just assumed that it hit the ground. You couldn't film that scene in a movie and make it look that good. Can the receivers get far enough down the field? Rodgers in trouble. It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the end zone. It is caught for the win. Richard Rodgers. Third down and five. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet. Airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Oh my God. This ball's thrown and Tyree just goes up for it like a basketball player. Harrison trying to knock it down. And Eli, man, I don't know how he got out of there. I thought he was on the ground and, and then he came out of the pile and just slings it. That's a great catch by David Tyree. And now with 59 seconds left, the Giants needing a touchdown. Difficult finish for Tennessee as they host both the Rams and the Jaguars in weeks 16 and 17. Garoppolo throws one up, and it's a fight for the ball, and it's a catch by Goodwin. Looked like Walden initially came away with it, but they signal that it's Goodwin's football. Gordon Goodwin does a good job kind of fighting back for it. Eric Walden, who has two career interceptions, not bad for a guy who's a sack artist. See, while they're on the ground. Uh. Here's Edelman broken up, and the pass is no sign yet. Edelman comes down with a football, and they're saying it's a catch. And we'll get another look at this. Alford knocked it up into the air, and let's see who comes down with it. Oh, that's a catch. Oh, my God. That's incredible. That's amazing concentration by Julian Edelman to be able to make a play Atlanta on that. Is challenging the ruling on the field of a completed pass. We'll review the play. The ball was resting on the arm of Ricardo Allen and Edelman able to re-grab it before he hits the ground. Oh, they're coming. And he's throwing bondage. And caught. Caught, no sign yet. No sign yet. This is what it was with Flacco at the other end. They gave no signal with the rushing touchdown. As the discussion ensued, touchdown! Man, this is terrific by Josh McCown. He's going to have a free blitzer right in his face, and he knows it. And he drifts, he holds it as long as he possibly can, and he puts up a, a, a jump ball for his tight end, Gary Barnage. And he's got that one between his legs, Kevin. Check out this. Oh, it's... A I don't think it ever touches the ground. It did not. What a what an incredible play by the tight end. Look what I found. I mean, look at this. What great concentration. He knows it's between his calves. He squeezes it. He's able to pull it up and make a spectacular catch. The coverage by strong safety Will Hill. We set Starks. They are going to bring pressure again. Rodgers is going to roll away. Throws it up in the air. Says a prayer. Janice, does he oh, make stop it? Oh, please! <laughs> what a catch! That's insane!
They look at it. It's a scoring play. Is it a catch? Ball is bouncing around on his chest. Oh. Ooh. That was Peterson behind him. Johnson comes in. Johnson got his hand on the ball. And then once he was in the end zone, then there was a late punch out there. I think he had control for a moment. And then it was Rashad Johnson. Is there control right there? And now Rashad Johnson comes in and punches it out. That's the way. Russell in the pocket. Russell for Carson. That's broken up again. And is it? But somehow. Oh, did he wind cow. up with a football? I think Butler hit it and it fell right wow. back down to the ground. Unbelievable. That's so, exactly what happened, isn't right. it? Well, Curse goes for it. It's still not on the ground. It's still uh -huh. not on the ground. It's still, well, look at that. Oh, my God. I can't believe he didn't get up and get in the end zone in time. And then Butler takes him out. So he breaks up the play. But at the end of the day, look at that. Does a juggling act. It's looking for a stop. They're going to air it out. Rodgers does this better than anybody. End zone. Cobb. Touchdown. Unbelievable. The Giants secondary as the safety players. You've, you've got to get deeper than the deepest guys. Leon Hall, he, th he throttles at the, at the goal line. And then Cobb is able to get in behind everybody. Eli Apple back there as well. Landon Collins. It's inexplicable as to how you allow any offensive players in front of you in a Hail Mary type situation. Desperation mode for Chicago. Rush coming. Trubisky steps up. Trubisky uncorks. Deep ball on the way. It is caught. But he couldn't get in. Stopped at the one. The Bears will fall short. It is Kevin White to a miracle toss. Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped off. Rachel Harris has it. You talk about Christmas miracles. Here's the miracle of all miracles. Watch this one now. Bradshaw's lucky to even get rid of the ball. He shoots it out. Jack Tatum deflects it right into the hands of Harris. And he sets off. And the big 230-pound rookie slipped away from Warren and scored.